Good evening everyone, this is Toxilons Philippines giving you your market wrap up report for May 11, 2017. Visit www.stocksignals.ph to learn more about our services. Okay, so the index uh, ended green this day. It started out weak, hitting a low of 773.17. Uh, and as high as 7863.97 before actually closing at 7816.4 up 22.3 points or 0.29%. The broader all share index is up 0.28%. As sectors were mixed, majority were up for the day with the exception of the industrial and the service sector. So, might as well check these sectors because they are the outliers for the day. Okay, so let's check the industrial space first. IMI is actually strong. Uh, I think in the morning, it was already strong, yeah. It gapped up early in the morning from 8.8 .8 to 9.2. Oops, sorry. Uh, it's up 5.6% with a value of 97 million. That's actually big if you look at it in the daily. So there you go. There's the volume today. Okay. So next one is Vita up 5.13%. Followed by PCOR. A value is 195 million. That's actually big. FGen 3.97% up. I think. Yeah, it's recovering the drop from support at 21. So it's almost there. It closed at its highs today. So it's actually strong. Okay. ACR is also up. PPC as well, nearing 6 peso level. Okay. AP, 123 million in volume. PNX. RFM, JFC, EDC, net foreign selling of 16 million. Maxis also saw a net foreign selling, EEI, FEN, FPH, Meralco saw a net foreign selling of 28.5 million. And then Davin, losers, you have URC, 3.74% uh, up. Volume or value was actually big for the day, 741 million. Pip, not that big of a value. Manila Water, negative uh, net foreign selling, 25.8 million. Emperador, CNPF, net foreign buying, 11.5 million. So, uh, there's not much of selling in CNPF right now. Crown, Tech, DNL. 25.2 million in value. Okay. And MY. Okay. Let's take a look at the in I know sorry. Service sector as well. So here you have PLC. I think it's it's almost at its resistance around here. Nearly near 1.58 or 59. 58, I guess. Seb 2.90%. Up, MRSGI net foreign selling, MCP, wow, 293 million in value. Volume is actually very, very big today. This could signal a continuation pattern to the upside. FA, ICT, 300 million in value, IPM. Meridian has been buying for quite some time. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know what their plan is for IPM. Anyhow, to go and GMA7. Losers have LR, 4.11% down. PLDT is also down, 33 million in the foreign selling. P Gold, IS, STI, BFNN, RRHI, 4.5 million in the foreign selling. SSI, 3.5 million in net foreign selling. Bloom. Uh, Bloom has a value of 154 million. Globe. 
60 million in net foreign buying SBS, not much of a volume. Most active stock for the day is Ayala Land, almost a billion. 968 million to be exact, followed by URC, 741 million, and SMPH, 381 million. For your gainers, you have WPI up 12.12%. It's a new close or it lost at a new high. Cab, no volume, VVT as well, OV. OV has volume today, 8.33% up. Wow, the volume here really is, uh, is still noticeable. Uh, IMI, we've talked about that. Ever doesn't have volume, GSMI as well. Vita, PCOR and IRC, 5.7 million in value. MGIC, losers, CPM. 10.89% down. It's it's a bearish engulfing. So let's see if it can sustain it. OM. MRC is also down 8.64%. It's really ter turning bearish right now. Yeah. SLF. No volume. Med. Down 6.76%. LRW 5.98% down, and PRMX down 5.97%. I think it closed at a new low. Uh, volume on the red candle is also huge. Okay, for your uh, value turnover, total value turnover today, total 15.58 billion. There were 108 advancers, 94 decliners, 1245 names remain unchanged. Foreigners bought 10 billion worth of Philippine equities and sold 8.78 billion, resulting to a net foreign buying of 1.28 billion. For your news, uh, significant news. Oh, uh, DA pushes for immediate rice importation. So we are still not a rice sufficient or sub sufficient country when it comes to rice. Okay, it's still loading. There, it's May 11, 4 p.m. 250,000 metric tons. Okay. Mm -hmm. This move or this action, I think, is done to stabilize the prices of rice. Right now, uh, uh, and what else? JFC has some material information. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite slow. <laughs> Foreign market update, most are up for the day, Shanghai and India. Asian peers are also up for the day. Mm, peso dollar exchange is at 49.936. For Jollibee, partner move closer to Vietnam IPO. Uh -huh. so it's partner GS of investments uh it's partner Viet Thai International Joint Stock Company. Oh it's step mm, so from fifty fifty we're in the uh, had equal sharing now GFC holds sixty percent of the company. Okay. Okay, now GFC will now include Superfoods Group in its consolidated financial statement. So uh, it will have a share in the net income of the company. Okay. What else? RRHI also. Oh, I know. I thought it's RWF. It's RFM. RRHI. Net income, 
for the first quarter, he jumps almost 27% with the stock move. It's actually flat for the day. Maybe it has been factored in already. What else? Mm -hmm. Mm, here. Ayala Corp. Nets. How much? 6.9 billion. Okay. Wow, that's a growth of 20% year on year. Wow, grand. Ayala is really performing well. Wow. So that's uh, some of your significant news today. Uh, that was your market wrap up report for May 11, 2017. Please do visit www.stocksignals.ph to learn more about our services. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful evening everyone.